motherfucking C-Doc again. Go. Come on. Go see the doctor. That's right. Tuesday night, bitch. I can say that there's only three of y'all on here right now. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Tom up? Burton. I rock. Go see the doctor. Go see the doctor. Little Black Medina in the house. Little Knackwurst in the house. Go see the doctor. That's my prom song. Absolutely. Yeah, it was uh it was a uh, safe sex uh theme. Themed event. Go see the doctor. Speaking, you know, this is a great one to bring on uh one of our co hosts right now. <laughs> Speaking of free clinics, <laughs> go see the doctor. Yeah, I'm talking about safe sex. I am What's so not, I am so out of here. What in the hell? No, you're not. Oh my god, these are degenerating by the minute. Go see the doctor. Degenerating? What? Your discs? Your back? What? What's degenerating? The uh, the segues the the announcements. What in the hell? Well, I'm trying to get you. Clinic. We're, <laughs> that was that was DJ M Rock. That was me. Oh that was me. my god! You know, your man Daddy O once said to me, J O J isn't on here enough. <laughs> All she's got is her shoes on her feet. Jenny, we kid because we love. How's that? That's right. If we didn't kid, we'd say, get that fucking bird to shut up. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, it's your fault. My bad. Uh, I, I, I was. What's up, y'all? See Doc again. Tuesday night. We're doing our thing. Jenny O. Jenny's here. DJ M. Rock's in the house. Looks like DJ M Rock and I have a lock in down there at his crib. I was <laughs> got a nice nope. space for a lock in. We got some dope anniversaries. I just want to mention real quick. First and foremost, uh, yeah, uh, today huge, that. huge. And then second, we got oh. a tribe. Yeah, yeah. So I prefer the these masterpieces. Happy yeah, those are. To wasn't fear, fear was today? I thought I thought fear was Sunday, but I could be wrong. I'm wrong. Well, when we get the uh, when we get Mister Woodall on here, Mister Peabody, he'll tell us. No, sure, man. Fear of a fear of a black planet came out on a. Tuesday. I was very afraid. Sherman. Yeah, two old five. Well, we won't have any, I was afraid of. <laughs> have you all seen the new, uh, the new, the new, uh, what is it, Peabody and Sherman movie? I say the new, what? like, you know, like in the last five to seven years. The new the German movie? No, the Sherman and Peabody. Mr. Peabody. Oh. The new, oh, no, the new German movie. There's only one. It's a new German movie. <laughs> Came out seven years have ago, you, and that was it. Have you seen that new uh, <laughs> remake of Doc Boot? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it Das Boots? Oh, it was like plural. Yeah. Great. Das Boots. Bigger and better. Yeah. It was actually... Puss and Das Boots. Hey, hey, now. <laughs> wow. It's a, whole different, it's a whole different movie. It, yeah. Wow. That's a whole different... That's a that's a basement kind of movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know that uh, DJ Rock's really fond of Midnight Express. Oh, that's, yeah. It's a good one as well. I love it and I live it, my friend. Yeah. You ever been in a Turkish prison? <laughs> Ever seen two grown men wrestle? <laughs> Ever had a dog just rub up and down on your leg? <laughs> they would oh not be able God. to make that movie today. That's all I can say, man. Uh, they wouldn't be able to make a lot of movies. Yeah. 
I mean, I was watching Vacation with my kids recently because, you know, I'm a good dad. Um, I'm also the dad that let my five-year-old watch Jaws and did night for two months. But, um, you know, that, uh, damn, that Vacation had some pretty racist shit in it. <laughs> I got gnats flying around me. I got all these plants in here. Well, if you'd shower once in a while. <laughs> well, that's true. You know, since the pandemic kid, I'm about a one, maybe two showers a week kind of guy. And I still smell better than my kids. TMI. <laughs> TMI. What are, you, what are you drinking over there, JOJ? Iced tea. Iced tea. Oh. Little Tracy drinking a little Tracy juice. No, no. Ew. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Ew. I would bring Sundoc on, but we're not going to do it until we hit ten people. You better dial up your friends. I want this guy to have a warm welcome on its time to shoot. So it's up to y'all. He gets paid either way, so. You know, say something. Stuff, you know, listen to our somebody, repartee. Somebody better say something or C-Doc's still going to be sitting there. Yeah. What do y'all think about my brain in the back here? I love him. It's a very large brain. Him. I have. Uh-oh. I Rise him. from Spit is on tonight. I remember Rod from Spit had some good uh, anecdotes, some patch jokes. What's up, What's up Spit? We got What's four people spit? off right now. No, only well, three because maybe... I'm one of them. <laughs> oh, are you? Yeah. Well, no wonder you damn computers all jacked up last week. You're trying to run it on 50 different things on your internet in your no. internet. Hmm. All right, now I'm not on there. Well, my C-Doc brings all the bits to the yard, so I guess we'll bring them on. What's up, man? Uh, there he <laughs> is. I knew it. Man of the hour. I'm like, chilling like a villain. I like how you said, I need 10 people to bring C-Doc on, and it went from 6 to 5. I'm like, ugh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're in trouble. That one of them well, is me. Yeah, I ain't never yeah. get on this show tonight. Ugh. Ooh, so, kicking a little it? intelligent hoodlum in the background. Yeah, man. Gotta, gotta come prepared. Yeah. Dude, I, I'll talk about this when we get tragedy on, but... Man, I was listening to his music today, and I don't know how I missed him in the early 90s. Oh, yeah. Well, he was kind of, you know... It was kind of at the end of the Juice Crew run, and you know what? Kind of like, well, A and M. I don't think he got a lot of. Um, I don't think he got a lot of promotion for, out of them. You know, we'll have to ask. Nah, yeah, not that at sounds all. Sounds like early, sounds like an early Tommy Boy uh, yeah, artist situation, right? Somebody else we know, yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. uh, Wonder who that is. Hey, listen, I got a question for you guys. I'm stealing this off of something I saw on Twitter earlier, but uh, oh, good. So, somebody said um, that we are in the middle of a new hip hop golden age. And I thought, According. My, my first thought was no, that's crazy. But then somebody else posted, yeah, but there's so much music coming out now and then i thought well okay that's not a bad point i don't know i just was i was wondering what you guys thought about that well i mean if you consider music by little dirk music then you know well yeah but i'm not but i'm not but i mean even even to the point of like the stuff that we're trying to do you know okay um yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm sold on that. I think it's starting to come to a, you know, to a tipping point, maybe. Mm. 
Interesting. What do you think, Jenny? Yeah, I'm not feeling that so much. (laughs) I I don't... uh, Because only because in my mind, Golden Age has to do with kind of groundbreaking people. I don't know yeah, I will give you that. Breaking right now. Yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I don't know maybe, anybody groundbreaking. Maybe that's what. Maybe that's why I wasn't totally sold on it. I hadn't thought it. Yeah. thought about it. But that's why I'm asking. You know. Well, it's the golden age of mumble rap. Well, it is that. Yeah. That. Well, yeah. Or what's this other stuff they're calling? What are they calling it? Drill. Drill. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, seriously, I was used to that work mean, drill a lot back in the days. Yeah, not about rap music. Um, no, I had rap music on in the background, though. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. I can't. Um, M Rock Drill is a is, is that a Chicago thing? It started in Chicago, uh, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, yeah. You know, we have deep dish pizza, which is cool, but then drill came out, and so it kind of negated deep dish pizza. So, uh, yeah, we're we're batting zero. I th- I would say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, you know today? Uh, Eric's is- probably played today. Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh yeah, Isn't tomorrow's the home, home opener. I think is it tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, no, it was today. They probably lost. They were playing the Cubs. Yeah. Baseball fan? Doc? Yeah. It's hard, man. It's hard being a Pirates fan. Just, well, they're, you know. Dis- they're dismal, you know? You can always watch old clips of Willie Stars and Dave Park. Yeah, I have that. Mipinia. Yep. On the age. Maz. We go all we go way back at Maz and Roberto Clemente and you know two one Cubs oh, you know, <laughs> figures. Well, at least you've got like one hundred and seven thousand games left. So. Yeah, exactly. There's plenty more to lose. So. Okay, so fear of a black yeah. planet. Oh, today. A good thing for you. Anniversary today for fear. Are you lost? Oh, yeah. No, sorry. I got an email, and I was trying to decipher it. If you ever black plane, it came out um, Sunday back in 1990. That's what I thought. It was Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yeah. Sunday, Sunday. And that, yeah. that is your favorite uh, PE album, is it not, C-Doc? It might be my favorite album of all time. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. It is incredible, for sure. Yeah, it. Um, the one thing about it is, every time I, it's an album that every time I listen to it, I hear something different. I love those kind of albums. Yeah, me too. So you know, I'll notice something that I never noticed before, or I did notice before and totally forgot. There's that possibility, especially the older I get. But um, but yeah, it just, I mean, it's inspired me. Production wise, sequencing wise, songwriting wise, it's just, you know, it's kind of, it's just this epic. It's a masterpiece. Yeah, master, masterpiece. Yeah. It's not, it's not in the uh, um, Smithsonian for nothing, you know? Right. You know, that's what I thought about your music when I first heard the track the Superman's Black in the Building. No, I'm, I'm being dead serious, dude. Like, I used to put on headphones and just pull out, like try to pull out all the shit that I heard. Oh, Joker is good. We well, yeah. So speaking of that, New World Odor, from that's what that album, that song was on that album, and that was the first album, the public first Public Enemy album I got to sequence, and I based the sequencing on Fear. You know, nice. So make make love. What's it, the tr- joint with Moby? Make love, fuck war, is in the Terror Dome spot. So, uh, yeah, interesting. 
Where is Son of a Bush? Uh, not on that album. It's on Revolver. No. What? It's, it's, is it on Revolver Revolution? That's what I was wondering. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That was uh, that was the first P record I worked on. I didn't really do much, but yeah. gotta get the deep stuff they name. Jenny. What? Uh, I just want to make sure you were still alive, or you look like Madame Tussaud wax figure. <laughs> you okay, see that? I am. I'm good. Okay. So. Tragedy. What time is tragedy rolling up in this month? Uh, any time now. All right. Oh, yo! I gotta tell you guys, the concert I saw Friday was spectacular. It was, oh uh, yeah. Rock him Rock him. Oh, I know. Backed by Jazzy Jeff. What a comedy. Damn. Yeah. And you know what was super dope about it was all the songs that Rock Him did were like slightly remixed. And I don't know if it was by Jazzy Jeff or not. So they were all recognizable for the most part, but they had like a, a different vibe about them. Because um, I got to see Rock Him and Eric B at the House Blues. And when they performed, everything was like straight up off the albums like you'd expect. But when Jazzy backed him, it had different stuff. It was kind of more funky, different bass lines, horns that weren't there in the original tracks. So it was oh, like wow. hearing like new joints. It was it was really dope. That is, and those guys are that at, is dope. Yeah, they're they're still in their prime, man. Like they look young, they sound on point, they're sharp, like it was dope. Um, so if they come around to anybody's town. Uh, definitely go check it out. It's so worth it. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I, have you have you paid a lot of attention to Jazzy Jeff as a DJ? He's sick. Yeah. Uh, it's, he's one of the best. Absolutely. Don't, don't, don't say that to um, DJ Too Tough. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know, <laughs> I don't know what the beef is there, but yeah, I know I love them both. But yeah, Jazzy is incredible. Um, what's cool about him? He's so laid back and he's got such a positive yeah. vibe, but he's like a monster on the turntables. He's like one of those, like, he's like the dark horse. You don't quite expect to like get up there and rip shit up, but that's what yeah. he does. Yeah. So, yeah. Super dope. I, I, yeah. I saw something on um, Instagram. I saw some post on Instagram. And I was like, I, didn't, I had no idea. Yeah. And I knew them back in the day. And, but I had no clue that he was at all that kind of a DJ. Yeah. Hey, hey, here's some cool hip hop nerd shit. Um, he's the DJ. I'm the rapper. Was originally mm-hmm. supposed to be two records, and yeah. it was supposed to be just a regular MC record, and then Jeff was gonna do a DJ record, and it was just supposed to be. Oh wow! And that would have been. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but that would have been like the first DJ album, DJ yeah, based record, probably, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. That would and have then, been awesome. Cool. It would have been. It would have been crazy at yeah. the time. So, so what happened? Was Jive just like, nah, we can't market that? Or any idea right. why, why that fell through? Uh, probably. Um, I'm guessing that's probably what it was. Um, <laughs> no one wants I, to hear dope beats. Forget that idea. I think it's I think it's in the check that I think it's in the check the technique book. So I will have to go back and look at it again. But I'm pretty sure that's where I saw it. Um, they had to make room for Nightmare on Mount Street. Yeah, yeah. They didn't want to get, the dis- get the disclaimer on there. Yeah, got to have that. <laughs> Speaking of which, did y'all see Robert England's new character on the uh, show? I don't know what show it is. It's like season four or something. That he looked. Crazy. No, I haven't seen that. Yeah, you have to move away. Oh, Robert you England know what? as in what's his name? Freddy. Freddy Krueger. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, uh rest in peace to Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 67. 67. What in the young the hell 67. is going on? Yep. Rest in peace, Gilbert Gottfried. And then for all for all us hip hop heads, of course, he was in all of those third base videos back in the day. You know. 
So. Third base, I've heard they're pretty good. I wonder if we could get like that MC uh and find or whatever his name. What is his name? Seeking find. Oh my god. Get <laughs> search too cool for school. Get deep nights in here. We'll pop go that yep. weasel. We gotta, gotta go, we'll gotta go one really, way or the other here, I guess. So. Who really yeah. wrote the local lyrics? Although I, I see Search was evidently performing in Myrtle Beach the other night. So Oh wow. Search yeah. well and he was here um oh, was he? days ago. Yeah. Oh. That's your crib? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. No. Uh, anyway, for, uh, if he was, <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you go out for Chinese and fries? Right. Yep. Uh, we we're we're working. We're trying to find. We're trying to get Pete Nice. Deep boys. A minister. Hopefully, yeah. he brings a cane. I know a man with a wooden a- wooden leg. His name is Pimp Minister Pete Nice. Huh. Does he have a wooden leg? No. In fact, I, oh. in fact, when I saw him, I don't even think he had the cane. Oh wow! I had the cane. Yeah. You know, he's always like. You know. Hamrock, what is this? B. This is uh, "Fallen" by Madlib. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Was this the one the other night? You're like, there was a couple beats ago that you played. Yep. That's you... it. Yep. I was oh, just man. waiting for you to go, I'm rock, what the hell is this? Yeah. <laughs> no, man. I was what like, what the hell are you playing? <laughs> what is no. this? Don't you have any Willie Nelson or something? I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember. Hey, don't call <laughs> him Willie. Uh, off a donut hose. <laughs> that was I, the uh, left in your own uh, album. Yo, back to third base real quick. Shout out to DJ Daddy Rich. That guy is super underrated. Yo. And he's a beast. The Lumberjack. Seriously. The did, Lumberjack. You, did you guys see him on Arsenio when he had a routine prepared for uh, Arsenio Hall? And he was cutting up me so horny where it's like sitting at the crib watching Arsenio Hall. And he was like juggling Arsenio Hall. And Arsenio's just standing by him like, damn. <laughs> it was dope. It was hella dope. Daddy Rich. DJ Daddy Rich. Yeah, Definitely, Daddy Rich is crazy dope. So, yeah. that's another that's another cat that doesn't get enough props. Yeah, for sure. And Criminally Joe underrated. Cooley. Hmm? Oh, I love Joe Cooley. I said, and then there's Joe Cooley. Yeah, the yeah. Joe are we getting Cooley Joe Cooley scratch. on the show? Nope, he won't. Come. Oh. <laughs> oh. Jesus, that's all she does. I could get MC. No. I could get Joe. Co- no. <laughs> Joe Cooley, listen, I have tried. I have tried. He won't. He's not uh, he doing. Doesn't do inter- he doesn't do interviews. Yeah. Mm-mm. He's not doing anything anymore right now. Oh. Hmm. Did, you, did you tell him he could come on and diss anybody he wants to? Yep. <laughs> oh. He's still not with it. Damn. I figured that might be the selling point. <laughs> I just, you know. It's, uh... We need to get Ron C on the show. What's he doing? Ron C? Yeah. Word up. Ron C. Dude. Out of Houston. Pulling some. Pulling some. Yeah, you're pulling some out the uh, out the archives there, bro. Get thought Ron C was like a, I thought uh okay. I thought Ron C was like a too short knockoff for the longest time. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, well, yeah, Bobcat. Does Bobcat okay. don't go there still alive? Not, Not that, that Bobcat. No, oh, gotcha. But yes, I think he is. DJ Bobcat, who was originally one of, well, he was actually from Uncle Jam's Army. And then he went, then he became a mix master on K Day. And then he went and DJed for LL Cool J. He was, and for a hot minute there, he was uh, Breeze's DJ. Yep. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah, he was Breeze's DJ. Yeah, and then he got, um, and then they were doing that. They were doing LL's Bad album, LA Posse, and LL asked him to be the DJ. Yeppers. Uh, yep. Yeah, Jenny. 
I spent I spent many. <laughs> Never mind. Oh yeah. Oh no. No, no, this no, is going no. Right you, can't where just, I to do. you can't just start with I spent many and then just back out. Of yeah, I spent many, many a drive in the K Day van home from wherever no. with usually sitting right next to Bobcat. Oh. <laughs> See, that wasn't bad. The K- yeah, the K Day van ended up becoming the bang bus, you know, decades later. <laughs> God. For God's sake. What's uh, wrong with you? Um, everything and nothing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna um Yeah. I think maybe I should call tragedy. Yeah. Maybe he still wants to be on our show. Because I really don't want to have to listen to that Kanye West album. Right. Oh, we're listening. Oh, I got it queued up. All of the lights. And right behind it, Eminem. I'll be right back. <laughs> Music oh, to get murdered by. Yeah, hey, that's a good album. Don't be hating on that, M Rock. Good, good tracks on it. The A side and the B side. It's a lot of album there. It is. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely some throwaway for sure. He does a lot of songs. He does. He does quantity over quality yeah he does a lot of songs he doesn't have a lot of lyrics in each song <laughs> especially yeah. god yeah right hmm. how do you even like sit around and write that shit like you must I, just sit around and write constantly it's, it's, it's mind boggling you know I guess he can afford to yeah you know, oh, shout out to uh, DJ D Boys to salute the crew. What's up, D Boys? Salute. Salute. So what's what's good with you, so chuckified? Oh, you know, rocking, rolling, whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that's from? Yeah, it's from Greece. <laughs> Yeah, it is from Greece. Good, good one. Good call, bro. Um, Great breakbeat on the Greece soundtrack, dude. Right? That. Yep. How many times I'd like pause tape that damn thing? Right. That's one of the all-time mm-hmm. classics, man. Yeah. God, uh, what a oh, great yeah. movie it was. Crazy tunes. DJ D Boy, shout out Crazy Tunes. R.I.P. Yeah. I think we need to have like a like a DJ show and we we have two tough. We've got Jazzy Jeff. We'll bring on DJ Pooh, Sir Jinx. Yeah. I'm cool with that. It's amazing. We could do that for the ice cube. We could do that for the ice cube edition. Yes, there we go. Got it. Do it on Friday. (laughs) Yeah, nothing much going on, bro, really. Uh, Got back from the in-laws. It's his birthday. Going on a fishing trip next week. What else can I tell you? Work is still work. It's always. Yeah. What about you? What have you been up Oh, finishing Scam Likely, the new film. So, yeah, how's that going? It's like right there, man. Just, just we're finalizing, finalizing credits, and I think the edit is pretty much locked. In. So, no. Yep, gonna get the uh, captions made up, get it sent off to the distributor, and get it in the queue. So, I said, I said something to my to my Jenny. Uh, about it, and she's down. So if we can make the dates work, we might be there for the uh, premiere. Oh, that'll be dope. That'll be fun. We're gonna have to park our RV right in front of your house, but you know. Oh, that that's cool because the premiere is up in Cleveland. You should park it right in front of the theater. Oh, okay. That'd be amazing. Right. Empty the empty the shitter in the sewer. <laughs> in fact, I would I would love to roll up with you and then get out in the tux. Come out of the RV oh, in the tux. Dude, we can do that. <laughs> we can do that. That would be dope. 
<laughs> that would be fantastic. I would love that. God. So like, I've, been hell hearing, is it? I've been hearing there's a, like a new, um, this is probably right up your alley since you're so West Coast, uh, mm-hmm. a new DPG album coming out. Uh, yeah, I have heard that, right? I think Snoop asked them to do it for yeah. Death Row. Is that what it is? Death Row, I guess. You know. It'll be an NFT then. Right. It'll be some kind of jacked up thing where all those old people are like, I don't even know how to listen to this. Because, uh, yeah, actually, um, I talked to Donald D the other day. And oh, wow. that's who, uh, yeah, that's who told me about it. So, because he talked to, uh, uh, I think he talked to Daz. I think. I don't remember. I don't remember what he said. But What's your favorite like, between those two, Daz or Corrupt King? Uh, I like Corrupt. Corrupt is okay. really dope. Corrupt is dope. Yeah, he's really dope. Dude, Dog Food, in my opinion, is a great album. Man, I haven't. I'll have to go back and listen to it because I haven't heard it in years. You know, it's been a long time. So, dude, you gotta, gotta listen to that track, Smooth. I love that song. Yeah, Such a good song. definitely got to revisit. Can't so go many wrong with the song where he says, "Wake your goat mouth ass up." <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> a goat mouth with a goat mouth. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> L- little Word. respiration. Emerald. Word. That's right. Need that beat. Got it every time. The um, no, I didn't because I didn't remember the Mad Lib joint that you spun. <laughs> that was driving That's me true. crazy. <laughs> that, was, that was that was driving me nuts, dude. For like two, weeks. I in fact I went back tried to scrub through the episode to find that beat and I couldn't. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, it's driving me crazy. Man, I had no idea. Yeah, I can flip it to you, man. I, I think I have it, which is Jeez. why I knew it. <laughs> but I, I just couldn't remember what it was. Ah, oh, Jason's in now, the house. What up, man? So, Jenny O'Jenny tells me that Tragedy Gaddafi is roommate with, um, what's his name? Joe Fatal. Joe Fatal. Yeah. Which could explain why he's not here yet. That could be. <laughs> right. Although, I think Joe Fatal's on tour right now, right? Yes. He's still on tour? I think he might be back home. Oh, okay. What's the four one one? What's the four one one home? Let's get my I brain two by one. We can Ooh, bring Al J from here. We could bring Al J. Al J. Al J did a uh, did Al J and Yusef did an EP with Tragedy, right? So, what you wanted to bring up? Come, come on, Al J. Join us. Yeah, what are you doing, Al J? Come on the show, man. You want the link? I'll send it to you. See what up with Al J? Yes, fries from Spit, exactly. You know, M Rock. Yes, personal, sir. Personal preference. This version is dope, but the Pete Rock remix takes the cake. Oh man, Pete Rock remix usually always does take the cake. Yeah, usually does. I prefer his jump around to the original. I know really it's sacrilege, but I love it. Ah, and his okay. shut him down. I prefer to the original as well. Yeah, oh. I will. Yeah, his. Uh, you gonna his come out, Jay? Come on. His sh- his shut him down is the greatest remix of all time, as far as I I'm agree. Concerned. Yeah, the great remix, but it's not better than the original. Well, it's different than the original. So clearly, Pete, Pete yeah. gave it a whole new feel. So I think that's the horns in that are crazy. Yeah, man. Ugh. Like did you back. hear the story about that song? He tells it and. Uh, 
he basically threw that together at the last second. He was like late to the session and everything. And that's what he said. Yeah. Yeah. Just put it together like on the fly. It's like, wow, that must be nice. Sounds like somebody else we know. Together, like in a matter of. Evidently, evidently, Q-Tip did the same thing with um, Crooklyn Dodgers. Here, right. Oh, I had no idea. I think. I think I'd heard that. What? I have my moments. We feel like you a Brady Bunch, don't we? Yeah. Here's a story. My, my stupid <laughs> camera doesn't flip itself, so everything's backwards. So I'm oh. just back to my left shoulder. Let's see, but there's you, something for you. It looks right. It looks right to you. Yeah, yeah. Like the Word. album covers aren't backwards, so. Yeah, Jason. He yeah. B Rock also he did two Night Train remixes. Oh, yeah. I wasn't aware of that. You don't have the Night Train twelve inch. I do not. Oh, mm. M Rock. Night Train, one of my favorite. Now I know, what, now I know what to get stripper. you for Christmas. Wow. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Yo, um, Morgan, see, that's a new person. You know, you know DMC, correct? Yeah. Does he have any stories that he shared with you about recording "Down with the King" with Pete Rock? Because that just must have been an incredible session. You know what? I'm gonna reach out to D to see if he'll come on the show and we can ask him. That so, oh, that would be dope. Yeah. yeah, I'll ask. I'll see if he's got. <laughs> oh, I'll see if he's got time. Yeah. No, yeah. actually, the email that distracted me earlier was is from another potential guest who uh, said they want to do it. We just got to find a date. So dope. Yeah. Okay. And that is DJ magic. Mike. Oh, <laughs> we're not that telling awesome. you who the guests are anymore. I'm not telling you. You, you specifically. Anymore. Yeah. Put me an ice cube. Hey, did you get your C doc? Did you get your I did, yes. Cool. Indeed. I was I was well, gonna I wear it tonight, it. but I was like, no, I'll wear the I'll wear the show shirt tonight. Represent then, um, the newest version or is that the OG version before M Rock made it on? Where we no, had it's a the new version, it isn't it? No, that's or... the one with M Rock. And okay. then um uh Oh, C. Cool Keith remix on DJ Little Release Visa. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate that. Yay. I like that remix too. It's C. Doc again. Um, Rise from Spit. Jason, you're psyched for tragedy. So are we. Al J. Hey, Al hey. What up? Here he is. <laughs> What's up? C. Doc. What's going on, what up, man? So check what up, brother? Out, Jenny, oh Jenny, DJ and the Rock on the one and twos. What is up, Al J? I'm man. How y'all doing? Good. How are you? Uh, oh, oh. It's the same thing you did. Not <laughs> <laughs> We're not oh, not interrupting please. anything. Are we? Oh no, nah, no. Nah, I just wanted to, you know, just jump right here. Real quick, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Real quick. Real quick. We're, we're interrupting you watching Get Sea Doc again? Damn it. Oh, nah. <laughs> Not even. I'm very Not honored ready. to be on the show right now. Nah, man. Extra chef shout out to my main man, Tragedy. Yeah, you know hopefully uh, he Thank shows you. up. Yes, sir. Hopefully. Yes, sir. So, in the meantime, in I'm between like, time, yeah. you got any uh, uh, memories of. Um, Working with Trad, did you guys record together with Trad, or did he send us? Yeah, it? as a matter of fact, uh, this month, uh, May, will be the tenth year anniversary of uh, Militant Minds. Wow! Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> time wow. flies, right? It's crazy. Damn. Yeah. Crazy. Um, I, I, I'm like, oh snap, ten years. Right. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, the, there's a. Uh, you know, we, we did a video, Militant Minds, you know what I'm saying? That's still going. You know what I'm saying? It, it's you know, it was it was an honor to be uh on a project with Trash. Now how did that project come together? Uh that came together through uh Leeds. You know what oh. I'm saying? He made the connection with Trash and then um, you know, I guess he must have dropped my name to him and you know, just the whole Black Medine. And, uh, you know, as far as me, like, you know, I always told these about trash. I'm like, he's one of the illest. 
You know what I'm saying? I consider him the father of Queensbridge, like MC Shan. You understand? Right. So I put him on that caliber. So right. just to be on the project with him, like, you know what I'm saying? Now, not just one song. I'm talking about maybe like 10 songs or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow. Well, you know yeah. Well, um, Flatline said That's that still- he- it needs a deluxe oh, re-release with some C Doc and M Rock remixes, so Oh <laughs> word. Now that'll be ill. I'm down. <laughs> word, that right. that'll be ill. I'm I'm definitely down too. Um and so so there was that and then also he's on Immaculate on the the last Black Medina album, Let the Good Get Even. Oh yeah. Definitely, man. You know what I'm saying? Definitely yeah. came through. So yeah, yeah I mean Working with Tread, like he's an honorary member of the Black Machine team, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I kind of consider him a, a brother in beats. Right. As he would say. So it was, um, was it intimidating? How, getting to work Not with him? even, no. I was like <laughs> short, shoulder to shoulder with one of the greats, man. I mean, he goes back to the Super Kids, man. That's Queensbridge. Heck yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that's the very beginning. And um, I mean, I followed him all through the Juice crew. You know what I mean? I consider him like Nas before Nas. You know what I mean? Because then when I heard Nas, I'm like, all right, he's kind of like a reminiscent to Trash a little bit. A lot of people would say Rock him, G Rap, all right, cool. But I'm like, Trash too. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? They kind of sound like, you know what I'm saying? Similar, something in the water, yeah. right? And it's, right. It's, and it's cool, right? You know, what I mean, they, they actually like he knew him since he was like a shorty. So I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> right. it's all queen It's all it's all a connection. Juice Crew, like the legacies, like you know, what I'm saying, yeah, that's dope. Wow. So Al J, mm-hmm. no smoke, man. You are. A dope MC, super underrated. I don't think you get the, the props you deserve. So first of all, I just want to give you your props, man. But uh, who's who's your influence? Oh, thank you. I, I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I appreciate being, you know, Spit Slam family, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I mean? It's all love, man. You know what I mean? I'm really honored, you know? So, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I just keep it consistent, you know? You know what I mean? I'm only as good as the response of the people. So that's what I tell them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're crushing it, man. So would you say tragedy is Thank a big you. influence to you or do you have other influences as well? Oh, yeah, I, I have a lot of influence. But tragedy is definitely, uh, you, you know what I mean? Definitely in the, uh, you know what I mean? Like, um, he's definitely up there in my top ten. Nice. Uh, yeah, he's definitely in my top ten. So, you know what I'm saying? All right, good night. You have a good night. Yeah, he's definitely in my top ten of uh, you know what I mean of like lyricists. Like I would say number seven. <laughs> do you do you have an era where he influences you the most? Like under Intelligent Hoodlum, under MC Percy, under Tragedy, or just all of it? All of it. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, from the super kids on to like the present time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he always de- uh, delivers, and you know what I mean. He's like, he's one of my influences. It's like just going hard at it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And it's like it's always consistent. You know what I'm saying? He's always coming strong with that. You know what I mean? So it's you know he's he's definitely the father of QB. So. It, Know, that's all yeah. I could say. He's had he's had quite the storied career as well. Oh know? yeah, very interesting. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. But um, you know, it's all good. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely uh, proud to be on the team. You know, what I'm saying as far as me, I just keep on doing it. So you know, I feel trash and. I see cats like that out there still going at it. I'm like, I right, I get the inspiration and the get up to go do it. And Young that's man, why yeah. we connect and do what we do, see Doc, you understand? <laughs> Yo, you guys that's why we do what we do, so Chuck of Five, you understand? Yep. You guys uh you guys work 
You guys work hard at it. It's crazy. Because you're already working on new solo stuff, right? Uh, yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? I dropped the uh, Black to the Old School with my man Kane Major. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? Big respect. Yep, um, shout out Kane Major. I'm doing a, a deluxe of that right now. Like, you know, just kind of like an EP, kind of like five jams. Hmm. So that's coming out soon. Uh, got uh, some Black Medine coming out soon. You know, that's to be announced. But you know what I'm saying? Yep, right around the corner. Um, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But other than that, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, banging out jams. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, I, you know, got everything all put together yet. But, you know. Okay. Just that's know I'm so. on the grizzly. You know what I'm saying? I guess. Oh, busy. yeah. <laughs> Never doubt it. Never doubt it with you guys. You and Yousef both. It's just yeah, yeah, no. you guys put in the big work. Big respect. Big respect. Yeah. Yeah, that new Black Medine's right around the corner. I have to finish one more song. And then uh and then All we're right. ready to, cool. think we're ready to go. Yes indeed. Yes indeed. You know what I'm saying? So got that. And uh we're just gonna just keep it moving, you know. You know yes, sir. Just, this slam fam, you know. <laughs> But I don't want to take too much time up here, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, wanting to come through. Nah, it's all good. So I've been shout out right quick, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's all it's good. We're still waiting on track. Big yeah. shout out. Just so chuckified, you know what I'm saying? My main man, C-Doc, DJ M. Rock, and Jenny O. Jennifer. Or Jennifer O. Jenny. However you want to do it. Vice Either versa. way. <laughs> 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 Either All way. Right. All right. All so good, Al Good night, and I'm going to be uh, in the live chat. Just, you know, not twerking, but, you know, <laughs> doing what I'm doing down there. All right. Thanks, bro. Great to see yes, you, bro. Right. Mm. All right. And thank you. Peace. All right. Peace. peace. All right. The ever love, love eloquent Al J. Yep. Good dude. Gotcha. Super super great yeah. dude. That whole that whole group, man. Him and Black Medine, man. I just love I love that album. And I love Supreme Aftermath. I know it's not a spit slam release, but this has a dope album too. Oh yeah, man. They you know, that was they had they had joints and that's that's why when I heard their stuff, I'm like, wow, these guys would really <laughs> be dope on the label. It was kind of like, hey, guys, you know, uh, what are you doing? Gonna come be on our little label. Jim Rocky Bear, cue it up, baby. Oh, do we have the man of the hour here? No, I think it's gonna happen. I think we're gonna be diving into a little twisted Kanye. fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I feel like such a liar to everyone. Oh, yeah, we're gonna talk to tragedy, Gaddafi. It's just us sitting around listening to Kanye. Yeah. That's all right. It's on you. I was, I was playing um, Godfather Dawn earlier, and oh. uh, while I was making dinner, and Davey walked in, and he goes, "Dad, is this Kane West?" I go, "What? Kane West? Kane, Kane West. West?" I said, "What?" Who? And he goes, Kane? I said, Kane who? Kane West? I'm like, Kanye? No, he's not. Definitely not. Definitely. Yo, the, uh, not the Jazz Spastics remix Godfather Don, and it's incredible. I don't know if you have that, C-Doc, but it's crazy dope. It is on Apple Music. No, I was listening to an album of his... Um, so, oh, well, okay, so how this all started was his first album uh, just got reissued by a German label called 90s Tapes. I just and... bought it. Yes. Oh, did you? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Word Great up. North. Great find. So, anyway, and then, so, while I was on there, what was I got to find the name of it. Oh, he had this album called Osmosis that I had never heard from 2020, and it's fantastic. It's really dope. Oh, I never heard that. It's nice. great. So if you can find it, I highly recommend. Okay, cool. Yeah. I will keep it. Yep. You know, if we didn't want to do the Kanye West listening party, what we could do 
is our freestyle paddle. We talked about. But yeah, no, that is true. no, no, <laughs> no, no. dot com. Jenny, you got your Yagfu shirt, oh, shirt on. You're ready to go. I do, I do, but uh, nope. <laughs> Told you if we were ever doing that, um, uh, yeah, somebody need to be writing some lyrics for me because you might have to put in no. a call, uh, the range and damage. We're gonna have to get him on the show. I know, right? Damage needs to come on. He won't come. He won't be able to though because you're on the show and you guys just true. I'd be on the same table. <laughs> Perfect segue. Go pick up. Oh, I I should I should. Wait a second. Do we really want to? No, let's well, get Craig He probably wouldn't. Figures every time I'm on, he's there on. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I can't even. You know, I, first, I was going to go get my um, cassette single for uh, Posse Shoot 'em Up. Uh, forgot to grab it before the show started. You have to distill in your car stereo. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got an A track in the whip. So I was oh. going to say, hey, I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> I was I waiting rock, for the eight track. I'm rocking oh, a reel to reel with my car. I wish. <laughs> we were we were talking about Chuck and I were talking about doing an eight track release because there's a place in uh Texas that that will manufacture them. No one will be able to play it, but you know I was gonna say who has an eight track player? Well the the place sells eight track players too, because Chuck got one, so and he got some tapes, oh. but yeah, That's they do. Nutty. I know. I think that would be cool. It'd be a cool collector's item. Yeah, sounds like a Texas thing to do, right? No, no, no reliable power grid, but eight track tapes. <laughs> Cheese monger in the house. <laughs> what up, <geez? laughs> Oh, you I really feel like the Inrock sound sounds good tonight. I mean, it, does. it seems like it's dialed in. I don't know what he did. Your dad has an 8-track still, Brig North? Holy crap. That's dope. My brother used to have an 8-track tape in his a player in his um, VW van. Wow. That doesn't date back. me at all. At all. That dates the hell out of your brother, though. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. And he's quite a bit older than I am. So, yeah. That the, He's the one with the Beatles records? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. He, he had a VW van with a bed in the back. Wow. wow. And like his the- girlfriend at the time made paisley curtains and a paisley like bedspread type thing for the mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. wow that's great nice i think my i think my folks had one way back when but that was before my time yeah so. i was a little kid and he would go on dates and he would take me with him we're going to the drive-in <laughs> That 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 totally dates me. We're going to the drive-in. Get oh, your man, pajamas I, on, and then they saw, fly me full of so much sugar until I passed out in the back. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> oh man, I saw mad movies at the drive-in. So don't even. Do you remember the first right, movie Jason? you saw the drive-in? The first movie I saw the drive-in. I don't remember the first. I know I saw Star Wars at the drive-in. Oh, oh wow. nice. I had a fever and I got sick. So, but I, uh, I saw that. I saw 101 Dalmatians at the drive-in. Mm. That was an early one. And then I saw, um, I have a feeling I would have had to have seen Close Encounters of the Third Kind at the drive-in, but I don't. Really good one too. Don't really. 
remember. I saw but. Star Wars at Man's Chinese Theater. Wow. Oh, that's dope. Oh, that is dope. That is dope. Wow. Cool. But you never wanted to, you didn't, you either went to, to actually it was Groman's Chinese Theater. At kind, that yeah, at the time. That's right. Yeah. Um, But you didn't, you only wanted to go there because it was Chinese Theater. You really wanted to go to the Cinerama Dome. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's so weird. Jason, Jason says he saw a house party at a drive-in. Oh, oh. that's cool. Nice. I saw, the, I think the last movie I saw at a drive-in was Speed. Ha. Cool. Well, that's been a minute then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I want to take the kids because we got drive-ins out here. Do you still? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, we do. Yep. Yeah, we I saw think they're all gone around here. We saw Jungle Cruise. My first drive-in movie as a youth, as a young man, was Ultraman. Ooh, cool. Wow. I don't even remember that. It was what? Ultraman. You remember Ultraman? Hell yeah. No. No, why don't why don't yeah. I remember that either? Huh. I don't know because that's like right up your alley. Yeah, right. Ultraman. Huh? It's like you know from the Godzilla type. Oh, you know. one of them there movies. Yeah. Here, I got a deep cut for you. It used to be on HBO all the damn time. Super Fuzz. You remember that? Yeah. What is that? It was this, it's this weird Italian cop movie with um, Ernest Borgnine's in it. Who's the guy that's in it? Oh wow, so, <laughs> that is yeah, it's it's a bizarre man. But they played the shit out of it on um, <laughs> HBO. Man, we used to watch it all the time as kids, and and we always watched it like, why is this movie so weird? And then I found out years later, oh, it's an Italian movie that they dubbed and you know tried to make it an american movie you know with the exception of ernest borgnine obviously but it's got all right. these italian actors in it and it's, it's, it's just awesome. nuts yeah <laughs> so weird have Bizarre. you guys seen italian spider-man <laughs> um, i think i've seen clips oh man it's so good <laughs> That's my favorite Spider-Man. You know, you guys can have your Tom Holland or your Andrew Garfield, but Italian Spider-Man is where it's at. I I like the one that was um, making the rounds on social media lately, where they had um, for Spider-Man, the the girl jumps off the building, commits suicide. I think she, I think it's Japanese Spider-Man or whatever. Oh yeah, and, it, and it's Spider-Man. So he's got webs, right? right. Like, no, All she right. just falls to her death, and then he goes and picks her up and carries her down the street. I'm like, wait, the hell kind of spider? You guys missed the point of Spider-Man here. Right. Yeah, the Japanese yeah. Spider-Man is awesome. It's insane. Really? It turns into a robot and everything. <laughs> Super cool. Uh, <laughs> now, Jenny, if I remember correctly, your favorite Ernest Borgnine flick was <laughs> Will. Isn't that right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Willard. I have a favorite Ernest Borgnine. Was Ernest Borgnine in Willard? Yeah. Oh, was he? Wow. Yeah. I don't think it was I, the with original. The movies, with the movies, you guys totally lose me. Oh. I never... My brother was the manager of the big movie theater in, in our the city we were from really and i would go all the time all the time all the time when he was at work he would take me yeah, with him right. and sit me in the back of the theater which meant that i saw that's entertainment 37 times one summer oh jesus wow wow that was about it and after that i i couldn't go to the movies again because i had to get glasses yeah, well, I would shouldn't watch That's Entertainment that much. God. Right. <laughs> wasn't that yeah. good. Right. Al J saw Enter the Dragon in a drive through And he once got busy in a Burger King bathroom, too. So. <laughs> wow. Props to Al J. Props to Al J for that. Salute. He's, yeah. He 
you're being told on, LJ. <laughs> So Sorry, any SpongeBob Sorry. fans out there knows that uh, Ernest Borgnine and Tim Conway did the voices for Mermaid yes. Man and Barnacle Boy. That is true. Yeah. Really trivia. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. I'm, I'm sure uh, um, Arabian, Arabian Prince, Prince would be down with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did, didn't Prince Paul do a song for the SpongeBob movie? I think. Oh, soundtrack. that'd be dope. I think Prince so. Paul. I thought so. Really? Yeah. I thought he did uh, like a like a remix or something. Oh, that's cool. I had no idea. Oh, so let me look. Prince Paul, SpongeBob. Yeah, Prince Paul's Bubble Party. Huh. Wow. <laughs> Check that out. From wow. the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. I bet his son appreciates it now. Yeah. Oh, Prince Paul's son? Yeah. P for real? I think. P for real? That's his name? P for yeah. real? DJ P for real. Yeah. yeah. Who DJs for... Little Uzi Vert. Is that who it is? Little Uzi Vert? Okay. Oh, guess who's yes. in the house? Is it the Team man of the Lucci. hour? Team Lucci. Team Lucci. Oh, no. Oh, no. Our, our scheduled guest is not here, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> Damage is here. Yep. Damaged in the house. He says, does it slap? <laughs> of course it's Prince not. Paul's. Prince Paul's bubble party. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> Why wouldn't it slap? <laughs> That's he funny. A little uh, Lawrence Welk in there for good measure. Mm-hmm. Oh man, don't even. That's that's um, going to the my grandparents on the weekend. The they had a <laughs> farm, in Lawrence Well. Hey, oh. I one tra- of my dance teacher was on Lawrence Well. She was a dancer. She danced with Bobby actually. No kidding. On Lawrence Well. Wow. And I always thought Bobby was so creepy. <laughs> yeah. Everything on Lord's Walk was creepy. Okay, but Bobby was especially creepy. <laughs> because he always had, he always looked massively plastic. And he uh, always had that weird, you know, kind of look in his eye. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Uh, and he came to my dance class once, and I was I was like horrified. I had to leave. Oh gosh, he was. Yeah, that sounds that doing. sounds awful. He's was long for... What? What, what kind yeah. of dance? Square dancing? What kind of dance did you take? Me? I took. No, your mom. <laughs> Don't talk about my mother. Don't bring my mother into this. I Eat took ballet, tap, name. and jazz until I was 17, 18 years old. Wow. From the time I was two until I was 17. So stand up and give us a little soft shoe real quick. Absolutely little Ver- not. Little Ben Vereen style. I Absolutely took, um, not. I took break dancing. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I did too. Did I did not. The Libero poster. Electric break dance. No, I took a break dance class. Oh wow! Because how I, was that? I took tap as well. See? Yeah. I did oh. that until I was eighteen years old. No, I didn't. I didn't dance as long as you did. But um, break dance <clears throat> class, and that was this was eighty four. So I used to be able to do the worm. I wouldn't dare try that now. Bust my oh, face. I can yeah. Break that out at all the daddy daughter dances. My kid took much to my kid's chagrin. That's what's up. It was a very, it was a very white break dance, white suburban break dance class. So you Did can you only imagine. Mail? You know, like remember, the remember video? like that commercial? Yeah, that video. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's hip hop. If you turn your feet out like this, that's hip hop. That's hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> 
It was probably worse than that. <laughs> All right. This is really sad. Could you, could you windmill? No. Oh God, no. Yeah. No. That was like uh, if you could, could hit you? windmill, pretty dope. Me? Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. I should have stuck with windmill. It, but... I was hitting with a putt putt. Yeah. Right. I got you there, man. Yeah. I should have I should have stuck with it, but a tap was enough, and I'm like, all right, I'll just do this for a while. Since we're sharing, year before last, before things broke down, uh, I took a hip hop dance class. Did you? Yeah, and we had a uh, we had a dance. Uh, what do they call those thing? You have a recital. Yeah, and there is a. A video of me in my in my dancing. Yes, day. we uh, need. Whoa, we need that for a future episode. Forty nine years <laughs> old. See, Doc yeah. got so excited, he almost knocked everything. I know. Over. All right, I just wrecked my wrecked the studio. <laughs> Jason wants Dude. to. I still, uh, Jason, I still Hello. do the robot, not very well, but you know, do it for the kids. <laughs> do it for the kids. You know, he's in the mirror and looks. At so. He, you know, he does every time oh, in I the just, bathroom. I terrorize my kids. I terrorize my kids with any hip hop shit I can, like Onyx. I'll put Onyx on and start jumping around and grabbing them and shaking them and shit. Yeah, they're like, Watch don't play out. Onyx, Dad. Don't play Onyx. <laughs> Dad, don't play Pain West. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't play Kane. Kane. West. <laughs> Yo, that new Onyx album that's dropped is <laughs> dope. It is Here's dope, right? 1993, crazy. Man. Yep, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I want to see that. that no, you're right, Emrock. It was, it's dope. It's, it's banging. So, did you say damage is in the chat? Yeah. All right. Damage. Sure. Damage. Oh, damage. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's for you, damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. And here's a little, yeah. here's a little break dance out uh, anthem for you, C Doc. <laughs> oh boy. Little Ollie and Jerry. Word up. I was oh, just gonna Pac Man Fever. Wow. <laughs> no, that's Ben and Jerry. No, just kidding. That's <laughs> Who, who was that Pac-Man fever? Wasn't it Garcia? Something Garcia? Or something? Are you? Are you? Uh, I think so. Are you still? Are you having? Buckner and Garcia is Pac-Man fever. Visions again? Buckner and Garcia. That's right. Did uh? Did so Chuck Dude, send you send you the bugs, Jen? Is that what it was? <laughs> he keeps. I see things. I. I see I'm old saying. people. I see. I see. By, by the way, I wanted to shout this out because I was trying to find it last week. Because you mentioned, um, oh yeah, um, you mentioned the Forty Five Re- remix. So read the read the. Uh, it, does it just say Packet Man remix? It says Forty Five King Extended Mix. Oh, uh, okay. So I haven't heard that one. Then. Yeah. Ooh, a little nucleus. Sir. Damn on it. Wow. Damn on it. Say James. Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer Fromm song. <laughs> My prom song. Wow. Yo, man, you wanna know you know what's crazy to me anyway. Um we went out to eat last week as sometime and on the ride home I put on um Pump Up the Volume by Mars. Yes. Wow. And I, I remember listening to that song a lot when it dropped. And I never, and I, but then I haven't heard it in years. And I never realized, because I knew the Rock Him sample, but I never realized there's a PE sample in there. Oh, I didn't know that. Where, man? What is it? It's uh, from, from, uh, off of you're gonna off of uh, Yo Brum Rush. The oh show. yeah, you're gonna get yours. Yeah, you're gonna get yours. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit! I didn't even recognize. I, I don't even know how I missed that. But. Yeah, I didn't know that either. You no, know, I bought 
I bought singles and album if it had any public enemy sample. Really? Oh yeah, I would buy because I was like, this one here, Chuck did. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I mean, I I get it. I, yeah, that's why he's got the tramp stamp of PE. <laughs> I have it on my bicep, not on my small on my back. You got the logo back there, right? The target? Yeah. Well, no, I, <laughs> listen, here's the deal. I asked my wife if she had a problem. I wanted to get the entire album cover of Fear of the Black Planet tattooed on my back. She was like, no. Wow. Dude, that would be dope. That would be dope. Wow. Well, now that I'm fat, it would be like, you know... You could do the gear uh, There's uh, extra yeah. room. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I do the whole liner notes. That was like that was like thirty pages that fucking cassette. <laughs> <laughs> the back of the large now would be like fear of a black solar system. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have interviewed Omar Gaddafi at this point. Yeah, we're yeah. Well, <laughs> well um, Omar Gaddafi is there dead. Was a, yeah, there was a glimmer of Brother's hope there bad. for a second. And now, once well, again. Well, at this point, we got to call it. I mean, if he shows up, we're just going to not let him in. We'll kick him out of the studio. <laughs> Jenny O. Jenny said, no, not happen. Uh, wow. Well, it was bound to happen once. I mean, here's I, the deal, dude. We don't know what happened, you know. Yeah. Uh, let's have some grace, Jenny. You know, it's we a also pandemic. know, we also know the horrible thing that was happening in the subway. In That's right. Oh, my God, today. yeah. Yeah. Right. That was awful. It could have been a it could have been quite a tragedy. Yep. Yeah. So crazy yeah. crazy shit going on. Yes, Interesting sir. that all those cameras were down. They don't have any video footage of that. Yeah, right? shocking, isn't it? Hey, what? And there but, weren't any know, cops but, around? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, even though they increased the subway police force. Right. <laughs> right. Right. You know, the weirdest thing I saw on Twitter's today, have you all heard about this documentary, Watch the Water, or something that's in the water, or whatever? Are you going to talk about that again? Well, just because you talk to me all the time, well, you used to, now I have to buy for my time. Um, <laughs> no, you know, tell, you know, tell us about the documentary. Uh, so apparently this dipshit who claims he's a doctor he's actually not a medical doctor he used to be a chiropractor created a documentary about how covid is in the water system and that's why everybody got it and the key ingredient is is get the king cobra venom and dude i yeah I spent an hour, I'm not lying to you, I spent an hour going through that feed looking at what people were writing, and I was just blown away. I, I just couldn't believe it. People are like, this goes back to the Garden of Eden. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> no offense if y'all believe that there's COVID in the water made of snake venom, <laughs> then this might not be the show for you. I'm just going to put it. Yeah. That shit yeah. is awesome. Oh boy. And I'm going to write a song about it. Yeah. Really, yeah. LJ? Are they Wanna okay? Here, here it go. Wrote a song about oh. it. Like, here, here, here. <laughs> from Spit getting us back on track here. Let's do that. Because we, you know, we're here to talk about Spit Slam. Um, no, not, not yet. There might be for the, um, depending on how long vinyl takes, but there might be for the, uh, uh, what, the Black Friday one, possibly. Oh shit, man! Yeah, Al J, is they okay? Yeah. yeah, is everybody okay? Hopefully, 
Yeah. Um, we have a lot of uh, not to pivot, but you know, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of singles coming coming up. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Jennifer, I talked to I talked to oh, I talked to Daddy O today. So I know. Oh. <laughs> I know. I know. I was on the other line. I was on the three. I was. I was. Oh, I don't doubt it, dude. You got like seven phones and fucking those those chirps or whatever oh, the hell it is. It was like a... Oh, that's good. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good news. Oh, good. Good, good. Thank God. Um, but, but, um, and... There will be a whole new webby site. Yeah. Yes. Yep. There will be a whole new webby site. Thanks to you, Jennifer. So, a whole new website. You'll be able to pick up some merch. Yep. Be able to uh, ask Jenny out for some clams and oysters. Oh, my God. <laughs> Break out that thirty thousand dollar coat. Hijack <laughs> out that closet. Uh, that's right. We're, we're uh, you know, fifteen minutes to, towards the end of the episode, so I knew there had to be at least one reference. Well, you knew it was coming. That, yeah. Yep. We couldn't get it without it. Yeah. Come on, it's Sea Doc again. Jesus. You're right. At least it you know wasn't. What, what? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Chicken butts. Go ahead. I was going to say, it hasn't been its sound issues again. It's just, uh, it's right. no guests again. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> no guests this time. Yeah. What were you going to say, Jim? About that, guys. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Hi. Come on, dude. It's all good. We got to hang out, and everybody got to watch us hang out. That's right. Hanging out with At friends. Least it... Listening to M Rock right. work. That's right, man. I know. He's been on point tonight. Yeah. My man, Daddy O, once said to me, yeah. Jason, no. No. I, I was going to say, Jason, no. Yeah. Jason, no. I didn't know that, and. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jason, did you oh. see that? Did you see that Gilbert Godfrey passed away? Star of did third base, a couple of third base videos. That the kid Creole. Yeah. Oh yeah. What? What, what happened? The kid Creole. Pat? From- yeah. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Oh shit, dude! J- no, he didn't die, dude. <laughs> no. Hold what? on a minute. He got convicted of manslaughter. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. It's fucking whack, man. It is whack. It's fucking country. I, I he would. I look, man. I can't say one way or the other because I don't know because I wasn't there, but. From uh, from what I've heard from people, and just I worked, I got to work with him once, and you know, I, I think he was defending himself. I think he was defending himself, and and it and it got bad, and I think I think he got a, a raw deal out of the whole thing. So, yeah. Who's your all's favorite out of the Furious Five? Scorpio. Oh, no hesitation either. Yeah. Raheem? No hesitation whatsoever. Raheem? Raheem? What about you, Emma? Mm. I don't know, man. I always pay so much attention to Grandmaster Flash that I kind of like tune Mm. out everybody else in that well, he cuts so hard. Yeah. Zodiac's on Capricorn, by the way. Scorpio, Scorpio. Yep. 
<clears throat> you all remember Rockmaster Scott from the Dynamic Three one more time? Heck yeah. Wow. That's going back. Right? Yeah, jeez. He's pulling out the references. Yeah. yeah. boy. And I just realized that I've been sitting here the whole time in the dark. Very moody here. Mm. It is. Mellow mellow. Hey, the way, is, is it still like. Isn't the daytime Seven there? Or... Oh. No. Here. Oh. No, it's not. You mean daylight? No. Yeah, I thought there was daylight. Yeah. Yeah, Gilbert passed away. Damage. Yep. I said after a long illness, so I didn't, uh, didn't even know. Didn't know he was sick. Don't have one really except Melly Mel, Jason says. Oh, Melly Mel's one of the Nice best shirt. Why, thank you, sir. Nice shirt. I had mine on last week, but you weren't on the show, so, you know, you always play me out. Damn it. I'll probably wear mine next week. I was going to wear my flat cap, too. I'm glad I didn't because M-Rock has it on. And if I would have wore that in a Yagfu shirt, you guys would have thought I was, like, you know, totally biting <laughs> your styles. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think there was. <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, damaged. He's talking. He's talking shit about you. I hope you know. He no, says I'm he not. Doesn't understand. Yeah, yeah. You did. What did you say earlier? He never wants to come on when I'm on here. Every time, man. Every time I'm on the show, he's never here. He, he <laughs> says. He says you're trying to duck him, damage. <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> You never know. Well, we have proven tonight that we can fucking just freestyle a show. That's right. We can yap with the best of them. We can freeball it. Yep. Yep. Oh. <sighs> Damn. Right? <laughs> I don't, you know. Did you all happen Ooh. to see the uh did you all see the video clip of Cam Newton yesterday? Talking about women. No. Before, well, I Cam Newton. Cam Newton, the quarterback for, I think he was the Panthers. I think he's moved, though. He went to the Panthers, got, but I don't think he's still there. Oh, did he? Yeah, I don't know. So if he's apparently still. he was not saying the nicest things about women and whatnot. But anyway, before I knew it was Cam Newton, I swear to God, the way he was dressed on this, I guess, press conference or whatever. I thought it was a clip from a Dolomite movie. <laughs> no, seriously, if you go back and, and Google that, it was like oh, and great. The that he was saying was like very Dolomite-ish, um, which that's I love great. the Dolomite movies, by the way. Oh, um, big Rudy Ray Moore fan. Yep. R.I.P. Did you see the Did you see the Eddie Murphy movie? I didn't watch it. I was afraid that I would be uh, underwhelmed. Oh, it was really good. Was it good? Yeah. I might have to watch it tonight. Yeah, it was really good. I mean, Eddie Eddie didn't sound anything <laughs> didn't sound anything like uh Dolomite, but your Uno reverse card is not working. <laughs> there you go. No take back. Nah. <laughs> but the movie's good. All right. Wait cool. a second. Wait, just 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 wait. Let's see. I was watching old Eddie Murphy clip yesterday because they were talking about Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy. I don't know. I think it's in Raw where he talked about Bill Cosby calling him, telling you yes. to the shows. Oh my God, dude, this is a yep. great bit. Tell Bill to have a coconut smile and shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, straight up, man. Like, sounds just like Richard Pryor. Oh yeah, he does a great oh, yeah. Fucking awesome. <laughs> you heard coming to America too is terrible. No, it's not terrible. 
it's not terrible. It's not like the first one, but it was it was a nice. It, it's kind of like spending time with old friends, and you should go stream it because I produced a song that's in that film, and you know, huh? every little bit of streaming helps. I didn't know you did yeah, that, man. Absolutely. That's dope. Yeah, um, smash the crowd. Public by PE is in coming to America. That's so dope, man. All right, I'll check it out. Yeah. Yep. Is that it's now, actually a great? They used it very well too, so I'm 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 very pleased. I'll have to check that out too. Now, no. coming to America two was not as good as um, another film close to that title called Coming in America two. Oh my god. <laughs> And I would recommend that one uh, probably more than Coming to America. No, I wouldn't because I don't have any music in that film. So I don't get any publishing. So watch the Eddie Murphy one. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, There's a lot of action. Uh, Chuck! Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate that. Hey, anybody, uh, any, since we're just kicking around, anybody in the chat have any questions? Yeah. For any of our like, distinguished hosts. See Doc again after dark, but at nine. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, right. M Rock. Yes, sir. Any, uh, any more um, uh, plays or news about your record from the Land of Lions? You know, uh, I'm not quite sure. I know, you know what's really cool though is I got like a bunch of followers on Instagram after I dropped that album. So to everyone that oh. like followed me after that, thank you very much. I'm, Word up! That's I'm finally song. past three thousand, which is for me a lot. So thank you. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, Did you? <laughs> You see damages question? Yes. Where are the birds, Jen? In the living room. Oh. Got a little bird muzzle on. Just the loud one. <laughs> He's in the living sedate room. Sedate it. Put a rubber band around his beak. Yeah. <laughs> Beaks have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Mara. Not happening. Right, Mara. Yeah, there you go. Right. Hey, speaking of anniversaries, 10 days ago, M-Rock, we had the anniversary of your uh, first Bit Slam release. Yes, yes. Night of the Living GBs. My goodness, that was a dream come true, that album for me. Really dope. It and um, awesome. yeah, I want to thank you for letting me put it out on Spit Slam and then also just the opportunity to work with all the amazing artists on Spit Slam. Shout out Memphis Jelks, Black Medine, Chris Payne, Ant Live. Uh, James Bomb. Who am I forgetting? So many, so many. Oh, D. So. Daddy O. Daddy O. How could I forget Daddy O? So, yeah, man. Incredible. Really easy. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be born. Really quite pocket. simple. Yeah, cheese. Uh, yeah, there's. I, I do. Uh, I'll have to. I'll email you. Send you an email on that one. And that album is special to me too, cause uh, got the work with the Impossibles, man. And that oh, was like yeah, the yeah. first jam you guys made in a long time. So thank yeah, you very much. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, dope, dope, dope. Yeah, you're you're one of the few people that calls us Impossibles. No, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> I have just to enunciate but... very well. Yeah. Yes, it's just Impossibles, but that's all right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess it would sound weird if you said it any other way. So. Yeah. <laughs> The impossibles. <laughs> no, that's yeah, a, see, it's dope. See, hype. I got the hat because you know I root for two two baseball teams, the Pirates and the Tigers, and so they're always both in last place. So there's that. And his when favorite they, rapper comes from Detroit. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> awesome Dre. Awesome Dre. <laughs> in the hardcore committee. <laughs> <laughs> didn't expect that one, did you? No, I didn't. It was great. 
Thank you, Jason. We love you, too. Yep. Marcus J. The homie. Mm-hmm. Miss my homie. Well, it's about time for me to go get a pizza. About that time. Hey, big show off. Go off. You can order in an app. It's easy. Just... I can't. <laughs> well, because you have a rotary phone. <laughs> no. That's not why. No. I can't eat pizza. Oh, that's right. You got celiac, right? I'm sorry. Is that protected health information? Oh, God. Oh, it sure. is. Off the block. HIPAA. Yeah. Jenny, I got gluten a gluten allergy as well. Do you? Mm. Yes. Dairy and gluten. I cannot eat either oh, one. Oh, God. So I'm with you. Yeah. Tamarock, what do you eat? <laughs> Air. Yeah, I guess, <laughs> right? <laughs> Air and Why lettuce. Why so thin? <laughs> <laughs> Right, we. M Rock and I talk, and he's like, "Yeah, I don't drink, can't drink, can't smoke, yeah, don't eat pizza." I'm like, I get migraines from pretty much anything, so it's like wow. anything that causes really? inflammation. Yeah. Migraine time, yeah. Ugh. Can you Thank can you eat bun. can you eat burgers burgers? Um, if the buns are gluten free, yes. Or no bun. Yeah, uh, I got to do well. I'm a vegetarian too, <laughs> so oh, even okay. more limitations. Well, so no, no, no. It, well, do you do Impossible Burgers? There's a burger joint here in town that I want to take you to when you come out to visit. That would be dope. I love Impossible Burgers. Yeah, Impossible okay. Burgers. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are. Great. You get migraines. I get vertigo. You get oh, vertigo? Shit. Yeah. Oh man. I think I've I'd had vertigo for. Yeah, I've had vertigo for probably 20 years now. Oh, oh that's man. terrible. Ugh. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, walk, sounds like you know, lots of walls and things. Hmm. Yeesh. Yep. Did you all hear well, that uh, they're saying magic mushrooms have uh, a positive effect on people with depression? You know, I, I have I I've got a I got a friend that really got into he, he had an accident and he got into psychedelics and he said it totally changed his life. That's what I've heard, man. Oh wow! Yeah, right, Jason. Yeah. I know it sucks. Well, there you go, psychedelics, okay. Jen. Oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> that's quite all right. No, I'm I'm fine. I'm good. Oh, yeah, no, oh, but that's yeah. how they found out. That's how they found headed out, out to get that... the pizza. What? I'm headed out to get my. D and D, what up? Chuck, oh, Chuck leaves. What uh, the hell? He just hey, pizza yeah. calls. I told you he'd be running. <laughs> I know, right? Here you go. Oh, uh, you know I'm. Yeah. <laughs> Blame my reverse. Uno, that's my Uno card. Nah, nah, you keep playing with me. You gotta stop playing with me. What happened to the car? You, know <laughs> you, you play too much. This. Yeah, you play too much. Stop playing with me. Like you said, you were gonna call me, and we were gonna like kick in and make some uh, graphics. I was gonna make this cool C dot graphic and all this other stuff. What happened? Why you be playing with me, man? I'm. I'm just- I'm gonna do that, but uh, I can't. Uh, I can't oh. get you on the horn, man. You're always on the phone. Man, I am. I am quick to click over. What are you talking about? Where are you uh, talking about? What are you talking about? No, nah, I'll give, I'll give you a holler. No, seriously, I did not know that. Uh, I mean, like respect to Gilbert Godfrey for real. It just didn't yeah, right? your voice. Like that was a shock to me just now. Yeah, no, it was really sad. I, evidently, he was sick for a long time. So I did not know, know it. Yeah. yeah, and and have you ever heard? Have you ever heard his uh, actual voice? It's quite normal. No, I actually recently I did. Somebody had oh, posted it somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Same here. Yeah, like uh, he was calling in to because he was going to be a guest on the Howard Stern show, and and they played the 
the voicemail of him right. calling in, and it it was it's mind blowing how mind his, blowing how different his regular voice sounds. It was just like whoa, there's no way. There's you no want to know what he died of? Please, yes. a long term illness. Representative, his representative says that he had a heart abnormality called recurrent ventricular tachycardia. Wow. Yeah. 67. Myotonic dystrophy. Yes. Is that right? 60. Wow. Man. It's crazy. Tell you what, man, you never know when it's your day. Whatever this is, it says it's a genetic disorder marked by progressive muscle wasting and weakness, which predominantly affects the limbs and face, but can create increasingly dire complications for respiratory, skeletal, and cardiac muscles. Oh, wow. That's a shame. Um, well, I mean, he lived a long, luxurious life, and I, yeah. I, you know, I give props to him for giving me uh, the bird and Aladdin and all the other stuff. I mean, like, especially the bird, that's right. when he really set it off. Um, they made that perfectly for him, and that was a, that, that, listen, for a voiceover, like, you know, all the other stuff that he's done over time, movies, television. I give props to that, but you know yep. uh, his performance in Aladdin was uh, transformative in terms of, for me as somebody with somebody such a uh, somebody such a crash comedian uh, in, in terms of execution, he yep. killed that. So yep. props to Gilbert Gottfried and and you know my respect to his family. Yeah. Hope you guys are yeah. doing well. Yeah, man. How are you doing? I'm smoking. As Word. <laughs> That's what's That's up. What's Keeping it 100. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always. So, you know, uh, you know, uh, Snoop Dogg says it, it, it makes things go great. Of course, Jada Pinkett. I'm not even going to share what Jada Pinkett said. <laughs> we're not going to refer to Jada Pinkett. Yeah, you don't want to get you don't want to get slapped by Will Smith. So. I'm, I'm definitely not worried about getting slapped by Will Smith, and I'm going to tell you this reason. Number one, I have respect enough that if I get on a stage and I start joking people out in the crowd, I make sure that whatever joke, you know, that they laugh with the joke. So, uh, you know, I, I I don't think, you know, G.I. Jane was a strong character. And, you know, she shaved her head, you know, to show that she was just as, you know, tough as the guys that she was. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I, I feel like, you know, uh, my take on the Will Smith and Jada Pinkett thing is, is that, you know, a big problem is, is that everybody's in their business. And that really puts a lot of stress on people and relationships. Yep. Especially people that don't, you know, somebody like Will Smith, I, I've always saw him in a positive light. That's probably the most negative thing I saw him do, and I wasn't sure that I was struck negatively by it. You know what I mean? I, right. I, I was just like, oh, well, Chris Rock's just going to eat the slab. I didn't expect, you know, such a backlash, but... Uh, it was wrong for him to do. At the end of the day, it, 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 everybody in his, his family business is is it's, it's not cool. And I, I don't see a lot of uh, I don't see a lot of people who like really going into every single family business. He went from everybody saying that they wanted a relationship like theirs to uh, you know people uh, dragging Jada saying that he's a beta and all this other stuff. So it's really unfortunate because, you know, that is, you know, one of Hollywood's uh, yeah, best power couples. But, you know, with social media, man, and all the stuff that we got going on, you get exposed really easy. So, you know, it'll it'll tear you down. So yep. you got to watch true. out for stuff like that. I, I really wish I really no, wish if he hadn't done it. And if he had done it, I wish he had done it out off site. Yeah. Right. Yep. Not in the middle of the uh, Yeah, not on camera. Uh, definitely, I, I, I personally, I, I can tell you guys like this. Let's say somebody says something about my lady, and I had some power and prestige that Will Smith has. I definitely would get him in the room if I feel like smacking him. I would hold my, I would hold it in and like do something really expensive to smack him. You know, he said he planned for three years to uh, make sure that Jada's 40th birthday was straight. He should have planned like a good six months or so to slap Chris, Chris Rock if that's what he was right. <laughs> uh, You know, he should have thoughtfully, you know, thoughtfully planned it out, been meticulous uh, with it, you know. Yep. Meticulous. But, um, uh, uh, 
I, 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 we, we spend way too much time like jumping on somebody and making oh, it a yeah. big deal nowadays. And I don't like that. Uh, half the behavior that everybody talks about, they, they either did or are trying to escape from. And, you know, it's just too much hypocrites in social media. So, although yep. I agree, you shouldn't have done it. All the people that tried to make money off of him doing it. Uh, yeah. It's, a, it's a gray area there. You know, I, I appreciate capitalism, but, you know, people are fiending for something to talk about. Aren't they ever? Yeah, why not be creative? Why don't make up your, make up your own story? Like, let's oh, just man. make up, like, Seriously. yeah, let's make up a hip-hop story right now of a young guy, you know, uh, a nerd, he's really, like, in high school or whatever. People are always dragging him because he's listening to the 90s beats, right? And then, yep. you, know, uh, you know, but he ends up trying to do it, and he gets, like, a little Eminem story going where there's a whole little clique of people who, who also kind of dress and act in the 90s, you know? They probably have a movie like that. But boom, there you go. Produce that, Will Smith. Like, don't worry about it, man. Like, go into the studio. Become daddy. Nah, don't come to Fresh Prince. Come become, uh, 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 call yourself Big Prince now. And go in the studio and spit bars. Like, do something. It's a long 10 years, buddy. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Yep. I mean, he only has one of the, one of the great DJs in the world, so. All right. Oh, yeah. And that was our new segment called Dr. Damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I come on and I give my take on today's event. Uh, That's right. Like yep. the Steve Harvey show, they always have some guy on there. It'll be like, or, or where they have it, just Nathan. There's always some gay dude. I'm not so. the gay dude, though. Hold up. Pardon right, right, right. Me. Yeah, I'm the <laughs> guy that comes information just make I was sure. gonna say are you trying I, to tell something yeah. no I'm not coming out no you don't have any worries about that I, I hey I can tell you this uh you know I'm I, I uh, on that on that note I I actually support anybody that's being oppressed I just don't support people who pretend to be oppressed so it doesn't matter what you are doing here what you're uh, I don't like it when people take the problems of other people and put it on themselves so it's a gray area in there so I, I you know I, I figure this world is so big and wide it's all kinds of people let's just let people live you know I, that's yeah. my philosophy so I have nothing against anybody really but I do I don't like across the board people who behave a certain way it doesn't matter your race gender I just don't like it and so you know, being a, a, a ass is a, like a huge leveler. Like, you know, that goes all across, you know. I, I had a dog that was an ass all the time. He was always acting like an ass. He's bad. <laughs> he, and, and so I didn't like him. I loved him, but I didn't like him because he always acted like an ass all the time. So. Right. It, it doesn't matter. You so know, now you have was, to say the thing that C Doc told you to say. Every We were going to have you come on every week and say, like, follow, and subscribe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, make sure you guys, you know, whoever's watching, I'm pretty sure you've already subscribed. But make sure you like. There's, there's, there's a few people in here. We have at least 10, 15 likes already. Get those likes up. We need those subscriptions going, you know. That's Let's get right. going. I, I, there you go. Don't play around. That's uh, you Range the Gamer, cool. y'all. Uh, coming up next, we have Daddy O with the weather, and later on, we'll. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was. So. Like, what if you just had a channel like on cable, like ESPN, but you just tap it with all hip hop people? Everybody oh, on there. It'd be great. Like, yeah, it's, right? great for everything. It's great for food. Yeah. Like seriously. You yeah. know what? Like, what's a what's a um. What's the guy? Oh, I can't think of his name. That, that that's also a chef. Well, Chris Payne too, but um, the other guy. Um, who's the other guy that? Uh, Action Bronson. Action Bronson. Thank you. Oh, yes. oh my God! I mean, the Action Bronson listen. Chris Payne cooking show. Wait, oh. listen, man. listen, man. You're no. you're talking gold right here. We there's nobody I'm right. Doing great more and like and, and between uh. 20 uh, whenever he first started in 20 like 19 he he was consistent with delivering great content man mm -hmm. come on yep. uh when he did ancient aliens come on man <laughs> action Bron Bron action bronson is a, tre a hip-hop treasure yep he mm -hmm. is yep he used to have that with his, the weather. his his youtube said well it was a it was off the cuff that so. would be weird. <laughs> you know 
probably for if, it for, entertainment. if it were for Action and Bronson and Jesus and Mero, I don't even think Vice would still be viable today. That's true. Good point. So hip hop is a big, yeah, hip hop is a big influence. But I was thinking nope. about that too. That's a good thing, man. What shows do you guys like that are heavily influenced by hip hop? Do you guys see, you know, after all of us being involved in hip hop for so many years, do you sit back and just kind of lean your chair back and be like, you're done good, hip hop. You're done good. What TV <laughs> shows or movies like, like the Super Bowl? That's my take, okay? Uh, Dre and the Super Bowl, that was big for me. That was a big right. hip hop. Sure. Mm-hmm. Huge. I would say anything that DJ Yellow has produced on film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go again. We're going down um, that rabbit hole. I, I tell you what, I, I tell you what was dope was um, Lou, uh, the hip hop influence on like Luke Cage. Yes. The Luke Cage series. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was that was that really was dope. dope. Yeah, just a lot of a lot of subtle things, even down to uh, titling the show episodes uh, after Gangstar albums and absolutely P Rock and CL albums. That that was that was great stuff like that. Sunshine says Atlanta. Oh yes, Dude, yes, Atlanta is my shit. Yep. love that fucking show. Atlanta's fantastic. I love that show, and I would say that there are elements in there that were definitely hip hop, like when they went to the college. Uh, yeah. To do, yeah. I, it, I don't know. They must have pulled. They whoever did the research for that uh, had must have experienced that because it was almost eerily similar to it, the same situations that I've had. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> most recently, I hope I'm not spoiling it for anybody that's not up to date. But most recently, when they went to the uh, rich, uh, the rich uh, uh, billionaire's house, yeah, that also was eerily similar to experiences that I've had. I mean, right down to the architecture, the number, the, the way people were behaving, the girl taking his hat. I don't know about the the gambling. <laughs> that that could have been going on, but the right. uh, heirloom tree. I I, I I wouldn't say that I saw heirloom tree, but there, you know, stuff uh, like I, that. I, yeah. I well, it, it, when I went there, remind me of the time that I went to uh, the guy that played Parker Lewis's house. He had a bowl of a bowl of like trees. Wow, wow. a big uh, glass bowl of just mad buds. Mm-hmm. And a tree in the Wait. back. He grew it. I, yeah. I cannot. Parker Lewis can't movie. lose that show. Yeah. Uh huh. Corin Nemec. I'll tell you. I'll tell I, you a show. I had to look that up, by the way. I, I'll tell you a show that I think got slept on and got canceled, but I love the Get Down. Yes. Oh yeah, the Get Down was oh, great. Yeah. Dude, such cool. a good show. He got canceled. He got canceled. Yeah, yeah. He got canceled. Oh yeah, yeah. They canned it, yeah. They, and the way it, they left it at the end of the season, I was like, "Oh, right for the next season, it's gonna be great." Right. <laughs> and then they, they, um, they said it was too expensive to to mm. produce. Yeah, okay, so Hollywood doesn't have any money. What did you guys yeah, think of the uh, of the uh, kind of like inspired by true story of the Wu Tang Clan? Did you guys get a chance to see I, that? I liked it. It it was so good. Uh, for them to play get Lala Anthony to play uh Sylvia, that was that was crazy. Um, I, I only got to see an, an episode or two, so I have to I gotta catch up. Oh, but, okay. Uh, well, I, I watched yeah. the whole thing, and I have to tell you that spoiler the timing of, uh, yeah, well, yeah, okay. So, you know, I, I, I was around around that time, yeah, right. Before. You were. Right. Some of the elements of how they put it together, even though I know it was scripted, I was yeah. privy to. Uh, so they hit it on different levels, like some of the posters in the background, some of the things that they were saying about the artist and loud and, and yeah. the inner workings that, were, that, were, that, was, that was going on in. I was privy to that. So it was... Uh, it was it was re- it was re- it was really nostalgic to see them put it together in such a way. Nothing about it's accurate, but yeah, right, right. <laughs> like it's all uh, a bunch one of, of the things that stuck out. Well, I mean, it, it, it's 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 based on true events, and it's you know it's artistic portrayal. 
But one of the things that bothered me was I know for a fact that RZA, we didn't hang out or anything. It's just that I like, we were, went to several events and maybe like ran across each other in a hotel one time, but not personally. But uh, like we were staying across hotels. But I remember him having it. Yeah, I was kicking it with him for like a split second. He had an ETS 16 plus. But they use the ASR 10, which wasn't even out. So it's a little nitpicky stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. Right. Right. I, so, really, I really love Riz's uh, character, though, in that show. I think he's so good. He's in Scotland yeah. right now, you know. Who, Rizza? Or the guy that mm-hmm. plays him? Oh, no, yeah. Rizza. The guy, the, oh, the guy that doing plays him. The guy that plays him, uh, that, uh, that and people complain about him not he's overdoing or trying to do Riz's accent or stuff like that. But if you remember him, he was in other movies as well where he does his American accent because he's not from America. And all he does is make it a little gruffer. That's his, that's his American accent. So he just, it's really like more like, it's the thing that you, I, don't, I think, I don't know who brought it up, but, uh, either Chuck, you or C. Doc. Whoever saw, whoever saw, um, Dolomite. Remember how? Yeah, Dolomite. Right, you, uh, do you see that? All right, yeah. so you remember how Eddie Murphy, like you said, didn't sound like Dolomite. Right. But he sounded like Eddie Murphy. All right, right so it's a little bit of that. It's like that's his, that's his American voice. Right, right. Got uh, like he's like he's Eddie Murphy, but he's still doing the character. But you know, Ellis, uh, Eddie Murphy put himself as Dolomite, so he put Dolomite wording and elements into his phrase. Right. Gotcha. And so, and so, I, I, I kind of knowing knowing that I was aware of him as acting up again. Yeah, he's an excellent actor, and seeing the type of job he's doing on the show, I forgive him for his voice. I already know that that's all. Yeah, he's I mean, to, he, yeah, he's it's, not it's, Rizzo. He is the Rizzo on the show. He's, he's not, the Rizzo on the show. Yeah. Right. 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 And so, and I'll so, tell you what. That, that, and neither is his. Uh, neither is his brother or, right. or Ghostface. Like none of them are actually. But I have to admit, there was. I, I, I'm asking you. Uh, you haven't seen it, so I don't even know how far you're in. Oh, uh, I just. I think I just saw the first two episodes. Oh my god! Yeah. So you're doing anybody, anybody that all of all of us on this line, you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't actually take the time out to go ahead and stream all of the rest of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll have to yeah. catch up. Definitely have to catch up. So. It's that good. You, it really is. Some of the some of the strongest acting I've seen in a minute, and I know y'all gonna clown me, but Bel Air is a dope show. Oh, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either. I haven't seen it. Either. Either. I, haven't seen Dude, it. I think it's so good. I think it's so good. Sunshine really watches fresh it all off the, the time. boat. <coughs> fresh off the boat. That was dope. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody you know mentioned. What's not oh, yes, dope? I mentioned that. What? I'm looking at oh. the I'm looking at the RZA's Wikipedia, and it doesn't say anything about grave diggers. Really? Oh, uh, okay. I'm not even going to go into that one. All right. So. <laughs> okay. And yet oh, you no, are there it is. 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 I'm not. I'm not going to go into that except for to just lightly touch across it. I'm gonna slide across it and say, hey, uh, someone has to be expected. Yeah, some of that to be expected. Now I don't know on which side, but some of that stuff is to be expected. We we already know the story, and it, it is not a it's not a it's not one any of us can get close enough to be cipher. Uh, but I can say this: this is one thing I would like to discuss with all. Of you. I would like to talk to you about somebody that I feel like is underused, and other people will drag me for it. But I am a huge fan of and I will I am really upset they haven't released any new material recently and if anybody has any way to contact them or we can figure out a way to contact them I need to talk to this guy his name is Little Dick yeah oh. from Dave a little diggy not from Dave yeah I know he's got the show I know he's got the every I know he's got the show but you know I consider him one of the Best MCs out there. Period. Really? 
there are reasons why I feel this way, and you can dispute them if you want, but I would like for you to refer to two things that happened. Uh, right. One is, and both of these are public. Uh, and actually, just let's just refer to the, his perform his freestyle performance on on anything really. Yeah. Have you heard Little Dicky freestyle on any platform? Mm-hmm. No, currently not. Uh, okay, so I would I would challenge anybody that would wonder why I would say something so incredibly you know bold to go and listen to like let's say a sway uh a sway uh freestyle anything that was on sway in the morning with little dicky freestyle but he has some really really high up there freestyle talent and i also you know i run with guys that freestyle in a similar fashion right off the dome some really good rhymes uh this guy, he's got the ability to do whatever he wants to. He chooses to make the music that he does. I don't know if he's, you know, trying to make an artistic statement with his shows or his music, but I think that I didn't know he was. I just thought it was part of the show. No, 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 no. That's, huh. that's why I really want. I I want to actually meet and talk to him really just on some hip hop. Yeah. Yeah, he had. Um, I knew him from. Oh God, my cousin sent me the the joint he did with Chris Brown years ago, the Freaky Friday joint, which was hilarious. Through that, right? Well, okay, I can tell you this: I don't really mess with any of little Dicky's music. He talks about farts and he has a lot of gay references, and you know he has the weirdest like music that I've probably ever heard in terms of that, but. Lyrically, what he's saying on the record, the ability and the skill is so high that I would just like to hear him. Ha- ha- I will. I think that around him, we've got people that'll, that'll make make the type of beat that'll send him to the stratosphere. Right. But I would like to hear him over the substitution beat. Oh yeah, right. I would like to hear him rip completely. Yeah, like, I, I don't even. The way he acts on the show, I don't even think he really is. I bro, I don't know what's up with that dude. But I would like, you know, one of my one of my bucket list things is to sit down with Little Dicky and to hear him spit live over the most hip hop stuff I can in a safe space for him because I feel like that that's part of the whole thing. Is yeah. that somehow, some way, he's built a career off of the fact that there is no safe space for somebody to be that talented? Yeah. Hmm. And and be a white Jewish, I'm gonna throw that in. Right. Yo, yo, I man, I would like fair. to, I would, I would like to do. I, I've always said a similar thing about Eminem. I would like to to have, hear M do uh, a just straight up hip hop record. Instead. Well, you go back to his. Well, yeah, true. You mean today? Yeah, today. I'll say yes. this. I, okay, so all of my experience with any modern hip hop uh, people have to even people from back in the day is through freestyles only that's where i really yeah like everything else seems like it's through a corporate media machine no matter how authentic they are so i go back into freestyles and it's, it's uh, popping people like Nicki minaj and her freestyles she had great freestyles mm-hmm. right just before she's famous uh right. little dicky before he's famous eminem before he's famous so I'll, you follow this you hear about eminem on the forum like before he came out See what I'm saying? Yep. So, yeah. and, and, and that's how far back I go in the, in the being on forum. Um, right. The thing, the thing is, um, uh, I I like the raw stuff, the stuff that makes you be like, hey, I'm gonna do this in high school, and then I'm gonna spit so good, I'm gonna get a record deal. Yeah. yeah. From yeah. anybody, I don't like if you were 65 and it sounded like, yo, I'm gonna be out here and I'm about to spit this raw. It would amaze me. That yeah. would be like, yeah, because I love that feeling. So, yeah. uh, Little yep. Dicky, uh, you know, I'm not getting that, like, from a lot of MCs. Like, I'll, I'll get what's sufficient, but I don't, I don't, there's only a few people that I've heard that, that literally sound like they will rip you apart. Right. And Little, and uh, in a nice way, Little Dicky is the opposite. I will nicely, you know, chop you up into pieces, but I'll be sorry about it. See, that's how good <laughs> So, uh, so uh, 
you know, if this ever leaks it to little Dicky, holla at me because I got all it. But um, right, there you go. Deranged it. It's out but, there, little Dicky. Give give D and D a call. Yeah, right. yeah. It's so crazy. It'll probably work, right? But I'm just ripping. <laughs> I hear he's a big fan of C Doc again. He came on tonight to. You yeah. never know how this stuff works, bro. Oh, you never know. That's right. You never know. Yeah, I'm, I wasn't necessarily bringing it up to try to reach out to him through your platform or nothing. I was just no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I thought I'm just... I thought when, you know, yeah, I just thought one of you, uh, one of you guys uh, would uh, be familiar. But please do at least at least give the, him the hip hop credit of going and checking out his freestyle. It's really that good. Yeah, he's dope. He is dope. So, well, thank. Hey, damage. Thanks for coming on, man. Always good to hear from yeah. you. Yeah, give me a second before you click the button. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. All right, but yeah. All right, bro. Hey, hey. Fun to be on there, Chuck. I'm glad you didn't run this time, even though you tried to pretend to. I'll see you later. <laughs> we're, we're gonna, no, I got. We're gonna, bro. We're gonna make the logo explode. We're gonna be dropping bombs from the sky, like, uh, like Luke Wilson is gonna be there. Like the, the Close Encounters aliens will be coming from the sky. Like it's gonna yes. be amazing. I promise you. Like, we're gonna take down um, Tom Cruise on a um, hippopotamus. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, that's that fantastic! Everything. Yes. What was that, C Doc? Is the Close Encounters of Hurricane? You know when they talk with the music. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what is he counting down? That's a weird way. I don't know. <laughs> Deep cut reference. So, yeah. All righty. And I'll be, hey, I'll be in touch with you this week, bro. Yeah, man. You know, this is all jokes for anybody that didn't know. No, I was, no, you were no. not there, and I was, I was so mad. I was, I was so mad. I was never mad. He was mad. A joke. I was ripping off the fact you weren't there. That was all. He's coming I, I was mad. I was Love so it. mad. Like, Love no, I'm joking. I could be serious though, but I'm joking. I don't know. never know. <laughs> <laughs> never know. He's, com- he's coming for you, so Chuck and I. You, you never. Uh, huh? You keep you, you you slide in easy. That's how you do it. You're like, oh, it's no car, no foul. That's how you do it. Yep. That's the first step. That's the you first step. Open the door. Spring them on it. Huh? That's right. And then you spring it on them. Uh, no, no. You just keep it going for years and years. Oh, That's yeah. all kind of <laughs> With Chris Rock in the first place, it would have been right. Crazy. Exactly, you brought it all the way back, dude. It was like Seinfeld. You yep. like started with the whole thing, and then you brought it back. I, hey, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I, I, you, 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 you're appreciating my astute nature, and I appreciate that as well. Rich, Absolutely. You. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> if, if, I, if, you, if you hadn't, if you hadn't mentioned it, I wouldn't have said that that was all part of the plan in the first place. But you know. Uh. That's that's fantastic. All right, no, it's Mags not. Damage. But that's okay. I thought you guys. <laughs> All right, peace, peace. peace. All right, hey, peace. Oh, ah. I love that. <laughs> we haven't had any Jenny off front and center. What are you doing over there? Sitting here. Not in the dark anymore. So my thumbs. At least there's that. No, I'm not in the dark anymore. That's that's a plus. Yeah, at least I'm going to go ahead and order my pizza. I was going to go pick it up, but I don't think so. Nope. Deliver that shit. You know what I'm really... Deliver, you deliver know that really... shit like Knackworth gets his weed delivered. So. That's right. <laughs> I can't do that. Not in, wow. not in Kentucky. You know, we're, we're the perfect state to legalize weed. We're the bluegrass state. Right. right. You know, I mean, the marketing... Right itself. You guys, Why you gotta get that scum. You gotta get that scumbag out of office. Um, oh yeah, well both of them. Both of them, yeah. Definitely, yeah, definitely hoping, that trash, hoping, McConnell. Yeah. yeah, and I'm hoping uh, Charles Booker takes down uh, Rand Paul. What a dick! Oh, Rand Paul. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, and you know one of our representatives. Oh, he's the uh, dude, Massey, I think is his name. That motherfucker voted against the Emmett Till anti lynching bill. Like, dude, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with Kentucky. I mean, I know it's a bunch of racist, but you know, 
God. That's, yeah, that's a whole that's a whole other conversation for another episode. So. Yeah. Sorry. Trash my own state. Nah. I understand. For the next time a, a guest doesn't show up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know you can't order double pepperoni on a Domino's app now. Why not? You can't. Well, no. Like I, I should be able to order quadruple pepperoni if I freaking want it. And yeah, now it's, be able to... it's just you. It just extra. It just says extra. They put like a couple of pieces of extra pepperoni. They never read the notes. I want it well done. It never well done. Like I don't even know I'm ordering it. It's pretty good. Maybe it's just you. <sighs> it is me. You know that's that? the whole. That's a whole show about karma I can tell you all about, but we won't go into that. <laughs> that's a true story. No, Chuck, it's just you. Home of Mini Pearl. What is the home of Mini Pearl? Kentucky? Ken- Kentucky, yeah, I guess. Howdy! Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Probably just woke up and just started. Yeah, probably just woke up my house. <laughs> yeah. That hee haw. That was another that was uh, yes. the other shit that the other shit that came on right around Lawrence Welk at my grandparents' house. Uh, Wait, oh listen, we just had this my brother and I just had this conversation. Because do you remember Mutual of Omaha's Wild oh, Kingdom? Oh Wild yeah. Kingdom, oh yeah. yeah. Wow Kingdom. That was, that was dope. Dude. That was on early in the day. Uh huh. Like and then Sundays. came, then came Disney, the wonderful world of Disney. Disney. That was like Sunday night. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And Lawrence Welk was in there somewhere. Yeah. Yep. It was all. It was the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Lawrence Welk. Hee haw. And we were just like, we could we could watch Laugh In, oh, wow. but we were not allowed to watch Love American Style. Oh, <laughs> love, love American Style! You weren't allowed yeah. to watch Love American Style. Too, Remember, I'm a preacher's kid. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. she was handling right. snakes over there, dude. They're not gonna let yeah. her watch Love American Style. <laughs> Jennifer, I can only guess they're talking about you because none of the guys on the show have great hair. So. I was gonna say, not none of nobody can see your hair. Yeah, two of the guys don't have any hair, so that's right. A beard. You're talking about your beard hair. You're pretty sure yeah. of that, Chuck? Yeah. You know, it looks very nice on my gullet. <laughs> I go buy pizza. All right, y'all. I got ooh USA up all night. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Man. Who is the? Talk about who is the, the girl? Who is the um? Who is the girl that was the host on USA Up All Night? That was um. God, what was her name? Wasn't that Elvira? No. 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 Rhonda. That might be right. I think that's right. So somebody had just posted recently somewhere a clip of USA Up All Night where she goes into she's like, I'm in my bedroom. Let's see who's in my bed. You know, that was a gag. And it, it was, was Rhonda. It was Rhonda, right? Okay. So it was um and Max Von Cito was on the show <laughs> in her bed. I was like, What? What? The, well, only one of the greatest actors of all time was on USA Up All Night. Oh man, awesome! Dude, Rhonda, Rhonda still looks good. <laughs> Rhonda Shears, thank you, Jason. Yep. Yeah. So Rhonda was chopping it up with Max von Cito in her USA Up All Night bed, which was just. I think we lost right. Chuck. He's too busy staring at hey, Rhonda. Rhonda Shear now. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna have to break out. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to break out the VR tonight. Oh my god! Okay, with Up that, my... yeah, I gotta go. It's been great. It's been fun, everybody. Hopefully, we'll have a guest next week. Yeah. Until next time we meet again. Yep. Bye, bye, love.
see Doc again. <laughs>